Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to understand MongoDB terms. So first, we will take the reference of SQL terms to understand the MongoDB terms. And the reason is that we are much familiar with the SQL terms. So here is the SQL structure for the student table. So we have ID column that is basically primary key, name, date of birth, mail and department ID. So this department ID is uh, referring to the department table. So department ID is foreign key and referring to the department table. So this is very simple student table structure we are having here. Now let's understand MongoDB terms by taking the reference of SQL terms. So in SQL we have database and in MongoDB as well we have database. Now inside the database we have table in SQL. In MongoDB we refer table as collection. So inside the database we have collections. So table is referred as collection in MongoDB. Now each table has some set of columns. While in MongoDB each collection has some set of fields. So the column is termed as field in MongoDB. Now inside the table we have records that is basically row and that is referred as document. So the record inside the collection is termed as document. Now in SQL we have the concept of foreign key to refer to the another SQL table. In MongoDB we have sub document. So there are two things possible over here. Sub document without reference and sub document with reference. So both of these we will cover in the later part of the course. Now we have some idea of MongoDB terms. So let's look at the student collection. And this is one document that we are going to see. So it will have ID field, name, date of birth and department. So here department is separate document. So document inside a document that is sub document. So here department is sub document which has its own set of fields and values. As I already mentioned we can have sub document without reference and sub document with reference. And both of these we will cover in the later part of the course. So this is sub document that's why I have highlighted it with different color. Now MongoDB stores each document in the format of JSON. So each document will look like JSON. So these are the fields of the JSON you can say. So we can have array as well. Something like this. Say student is learning the subjects. So here this is array. And this is the array of sub document. So this is one sub document which is subject sub document you can say. Which has its own set of fields subject name and marks obtained and here is another sub document and you can have many as well because this is array so this is the array of sub document don't get confused because when we will see the practical part to create the document and uh, doing the CRUD operations you will get better idea how the JSON will look like but still if you want to have a look that how MongoDB will store a particular document in the format of JSON then here it is. We have fields ID, name, date of birth and this is department sub document and it has its own set of fields and this is subjects. See this is the array. So here is one sub document and here is second sub document and that is inside the array. So don't get confused when we will perform CRUD operations we will build this JSON so that you will get better idea. As of now, just try to understand the MongoDB terms by taking the reference of SQL terms. So that's all for the MongoDB terms. We'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you very much.